Hey everybody, so I thought I'd make this video to talk a little bit about the Nintendo Direct E3 2019 video. Because it came up on my YouTube news feed, and I'm like, okay, let's take a gander at this. This, what is it, 42 minute long video about all these games coming out? I'm thinking to myself at first, like, this is going to be, you know, a... You know, just a, a follow-up on, you know, what uh, what other games are going to be coming out. But no. I mean, yeah, it kind of was, because Link's Awakening had a little bit more to it. They finally included Pokemon in the, um, the mass Nintendo trailers, which is good, I guess. Um, not too much information about that, you know, other than there being uh, Corgi. Pokemon and a dark fairy demon looking thing. The Dynamax thing is pretty cool. But I, I guess I was wrong. That leaf thing, that leafy thing that was on the building, it's just a way to show what type of gym it was. I guess it might actually just be a gym. And I, that whole video about me talking about how there's no. Like, that that might be a different symbol for something. Who knows? But anyways, you know, there's plenty of Poketubers out there talking about um, all that all that stuff about Pokemon, and I'll, I'll give it to them, I guess. What I want to talk about is, uh, I mean, if you guys haven't seen the trail, or if you haven't seen uh, the video, Nintendo Direct E3 2019, I would take a gander at that before... Um, because I don't want to spoil it. Spoilers ahead. I mean, even though that there's no plot points ruined. Because it's just a trailer. Even though that's how trailers have kind of been. They, they have the plot point in as soon as... And, and too much of the gameplay comes in for a lot of trailers that... I, I just don't want to know about it until I play the game. But that's a, that's a whole other discussion I think I've talked about before. Um, one thing, I, okay, so moving forward anyways, um, Smash Ultimate, getting a couple updates, uh, holy crap, holy crap, um, I think Dragon Quest characters, I haven't played Dragon Quest, but what blew my mind, what blew my mind, and everybody else's minds, and, uh, you know, this dates back to even Super Smash Bros. Melee, where people were making their own mock uh, characters that would add, that would be in the next Super Smash Bros. game finally made it. He finally they let's say they finally made it. And uh, who I'm meaning is Banjo Kazooie. Holy crap! Um, and I have a feeling this is Microsoft's last ditch effort to put Banjo and Kazooie on the map. Solely because Nuts and Bolts was a total flop, and they just didn't... They just dropped the ball on that. And, uh, it, it just became a clusterfuck of everything. Um, yeah, but it, holy crap. And they, and they look pretty cool, too. Both Banjo and Kazooie. Um, the Final Smash looks really cool. It's just like a bunch of Jinjos, you know, wreaking havoc on the enemy. And, uh, you know, not a whole lot to say other than watch the clip of Banjo-Kazooie making, uh, making their way towards the Super Smash stage. That's amazing to me. But that's not even the, the main thing that blew my mind today. Um, what blew my mind was, uh, um, not only, you know... Link's Awakening, that looking awesome, and not only Animal Crossing's um, Over a New Horizon, or I think that's the title of it, um, how, how they're taking after, you know, a previous Zelda game, you know, mostly survival-based type of a setting, building from the ground up, let's say, um, that said survival zelda e game is getting a sequel. And I'm talking about Breath of the Wild. Wow. The cutscene 
the uh, of, of Zelda and Link going into the basement of the castle, finding some shriveled up Gerudo looking person. Um, and I wonder, like, because there's still malice lumping around in there, so there, I guess maybe this is a continuation of Link and Zelda trying to uh, clear Hyrule of all the malice that's kind of clumped up everywhere. Um, but I wonder what's going to happen in a Breath of the Wild sequel. It looks amazing. It's in development. I'm fine with waiting four years for it to come out. Because I'm not going to lie. I still haven't beaten Breath of the Wild because I'm savoring it. It tastes so delicious. that I gotta, I gotta, you know, people are going to ask me too. Oh, you didn't even beat that game yet? Oh, blah, 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 blah. I actually waited a year to play it. Because I didn't want to deal with the the noise and all the hype and uh i i just you know I, i'm i'm a weird gamer i don't like playing online i don't really like socializing in a community because all communities eventually uh crap out and then there's some drama then there's for some reason there's like pedophilia accusations um some some might be accurate but I, I'm not discrediting anybody who accuses somebody of something. Um, but, you know, a simple tweet or accusation can end somebody's career. Uh, we know that from the guy who played Obito, I believe. Or Brawly from, uh, from uh, um, Dragon Ball Super. That's a whole other can of worms i don't i don't even want to have a debate about that because uh you get some pretty nasty people on the the internet so that's for sure um i mean if you have your opinions on that you know him uh um grabbing people i don't the way i see it he kind of looked like an uncle that uh you know was just like gave a hug to like his niece or something that's kind of what kind of a contact that it was but that's that's my that's my view i don't know if it should be career ending um maybe it was awkward but you know he does lives to serve his fans vic mcmahon i don't know how to say his name still Still a good guy. I mean, if he is a creep, then that, that sucks, I guess. But sometimes a simple accusation or a tweet can really ruin somebody and cause a forest fire of um, drama that doesn't even need to be there. And it's hearsay. If the person had a problem with it, then uh, sue him. Take it to court. Um... I like that. I I don't know how I got on that tangent. Anyways, um, going back to Breath of the Wild 2, we'll call it. I wonder, um, I don't like Zelda's haircut. Don't like short hair. Zelda looked fine. Maybe it's because she cut her hair, so she got into that whole, like, survival thingy. Doesn't explain why Link has really long hair. I don't know. She wanted a change. It's been a hundred years, you know. If you're if you're locked into the same haircut, got to change it up, people. Got to change it up. Um. I have a theory that maybe Zelda is gonna be a uh, is gonna be maybe like a co-op character. Or you play as either Link or Zelda or switch between the two. No idea. No way of telling. And I don't even know if it's going to be on the Switch. It might be on the Switch at the end. And then, uh, you know, whatever the next Nintendo console is coming. Then they're going to port that over to whatever that console is. I mean, that happened with, um, that happened with the GameCube 
with uh, Twilight Princess, where it was also for the GameCube and the Wii to kind of wean people over to uh, the Wii. Same thing with Breath of the Wild. They did that with, um, um, what was it? The Wii U. I don't even remember the console's name because I skipped that whole generation. I skipped Super Smash 4. I'm not going to lie. I uh, didn't care for it. I was going through a lot of emotional trauma. Um, tells you a bit about me, I guess. And uh, I just wasn't feeling it. I took a break off of Pokemon. I didn't quit altogether. I, I still played Omega Ruby. But I, I took a, a, a gap, I, let's say. Uh, um, a year gap of playing video games in general. Just because I was dealing with a lot of depression. Um, I don't even know what year it was. It might have been 2015. I don't know. It was, I think it was like the year before uh, Ultra or sorry, Sun and Moon came out. Um, but I'm, you know, I'm doing a lot better now. Luckily, um, thanks for asking, right? Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I could I could see the Breath of the Wild two being in that uh, in between period of Nintendo switching on to a new console. Although, the Switch, I feel like the Switch would be here to stay for a while. Like, I don't know what other game they're going to have. What, whatever, what other console they're going to release after the Switch. And it, if it, it's probably going to be like, maybe something smaller, more compact. You know, the, the way, um, you know, processing chips have been optimized... Um, you know, you could have some pretty powerful hardware and just itty bitty living space. That was an Aladdin reference. Um, I did not see the Aladdin movie. This has nothing to do with Nintendo. We're, we're hopping from Nintendo to Disney. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to see the Aladdin movie solely because, um, Robin Williams what was the genie you know not that i hate will smith but the youtube rewind thing really killed it for me with will smith um and also i i don't think he's a singer i don't think he sang even if he had a musical number he he just kind of they auto-tuned it probably just like what they did with emma watson and the uh beauty and the beast um I digress from that. I have a lot of games to play. Like, I waited a, a good month until I... Or was it a couple months? For uh, Smash Ultimate. To actually take out Smash Ultimate and play it. I'm still in story mode here. Um, really great story, by the way. I love the premise. Um, yeah, it should be fun. I don't, I don't even think I have all the characters unlocked yet. But... So far, so good. I'm actually liking how uh, balanced all the characters are are becoming now. Like, Pichu's Thunderbolt is stronger than Pikachu's because, you know, it, was, it wasn't viable. You know, because it was just doing damage to itself. Maybe it was a little quicker, but it wasn't really worth it. So you got the speed, you got the, um, you got the strength, but, you know, a little bit of sacrifice of the the electric type moves so you got to use more of a physical you got to use P Pichu as more of like a physical type of Pokemon or character Pokemon Pokemon character <laughs> um, I don't know how to end this video I just this these are my uh, thoughts initial thoughts upon viewing said um, Nintendo Direct E3 2019 and uh, I hope you all have a good day. And uh, I'm probably just going to take a nap because I'm tired. I like naps. I really do. That's probably why I don't have enough time for video games sometimes. Wish I did. I mean, yeah. Well, anyways, um, I'm going to say goodbye. 
and uh, say goodbye, Chloe. Say goodbye, little dog. Oh, look at her. See, she takes after her father. She likes naps, too. All right, bye-bye, everybody. I love you all.